Hi everyone, John Mitchell here, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So uh, first off, I just wanted to talk to, about the Zyterian Theater. So the Z this week turned 100 years old. It was on April 2nd, 1923, that uh, the Z had its first show, a vaudeville show, which is what everybody was watching back then, uh, before TV and, and really even before radio. Um, and uh, in the last 100 years, it's been going strong. People remember that it's had some ups and downs over the years. It was the state theater for a long time, uh, but it has outlasted uh, some 17 other active theaters uh, at the time it was built, right? It's the only active one remaining. There are others that are inactive that are still standing, of course, but it's the only one, and it's, uh, it's, become, a, it's become a performing arts center that has drawn thousands and thousands of people to the city and, and really just been a, like a, a real pillar uh, of, of the city's civic life, its, its arts and culture, and uh, its economy. And we're so, we're so, so pleased that uh, now, after having been resuscitated about 40 years ago in the 1980s, uh, it's about to undergo a big, um, a big expansion. Um, not so much in the physical footprint, but an upgrade of the place. There's going to be a big marquee out front. There will be uh, new features, both in the basement as well as on the second floor. It's actually a, the buildings are actually a lot bigger than what it appears on the inside. There's like there used to be a ballroom on one side, and so a lot of that stuff's getting redone. Um, new seats. If you've been in there and seen the. You know the styrofoam poking out of the seats. Well, that's that's all going to get fixed too. So, uh, just kudos to them for working really hard. The, the, the Zyterian, uh, which is head up, headed up by Rosemary Gill, has done a really good job pulling all uh, of the uh, the funding together. And so they're going to start constructing probably in the fall. But it'll there'll be a, a brand new Z for its I guess its 100 second birthday or something by then. So anyway, that's a, it's a it's a big event for a big. Big, a big month for a uh, really important part of our city. The second thing I want to talk about uh, is the relief fund that has been established uh, that we, along with uh, certain of uh, the city's social service agencies, established to help the residents of the uh, rooming house on a cushion at Avenue get their lives back together. Um, uh, as you know, that building was destroyed by fire. It, uh, displaced some what, more than 20 people uh, from their homes. They lost pretty much everything. Um, the, and of course, there were two people who, who passed from uh, the fire, un unfortunately. And uh, we've tried, uh, we've tried in the wake of the fire, a number of uh, agencies, with the help of a number of agencies, to get them squared away. And I just, again, I'm so thankful for the likes of. Uh, the Homeless Service Providers Network for Seven Hills, for PACA, and others who are stepping up the Red Cross. So uh, there is a fund that is, has been started uh, that we worked with the um, Rise Up for Homes and the Inner Church Council to get up and running. If you go to Rise Up for Homes, the, the Rise Up for Homes website, you can see it there. They're taking donations, so I just encourage everybody to consider uh, that uh, so that we can support these people who are, you know, have lost. Uh, lost a great deal in their lives. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is a, and a, a similar spirit, is that we, uh, we, the city, have received a federal grant of roughly $2.1 million to enhance our homelessness services. Uh, these are services that help get people off the street and back into a more stable housing arrangement uh, that offer mental health and substance abuse services uh, and then do a whole lot more, including getting them plugged into, into jobs. It's not easy. The work of dealing with homelessness is a constant one. It's one that challenges every city in the United States, some more than others. Our, our numbers have been relatively stable, but um, frankly, that's not good enough. We want our homelessness numbers, especially the number of folks who are unsheltered, um, to, uh, to drop. And so the, this funding, I think, is going to help. And I just want to congratulate 
the folks in uh, housing and uh, housing and community development for their work on putting the application together. I'm grateful for the congressional delegation for supporting that program. So um, all to the good. It's going to, I, I think it's going to help out a lot. Uh, the last thing I just want to say is uh, holidays this weekend. It's holiday weekend. Happy Passover. Happy Easter to uh, to everybody. I hope you get a chance to spend time with your your families, whatever you celebrate, and um, and uh, don't eat too much. Anyway, uh, this has been the Mary's Weekly Update. I'll see you next week.